Social Zones open in Grand Rapids to aid restaurant recovery. Kent County and Grand Rapids Chamber launch the Small Business Recovery Program. And Heart of West Michigan United Way adds more in-person local volunteer opportunities. All this and more on today's local update, brought to you by the Rapidian. Grand Rapids' first outdoor social zones open this weekend, aiming to help restaurants and bars reopening with capacity limits and COVID-related setbacks. With a 50% indoor capacity limit for these businesses in place, the zones enable expanded outdoor dining and social space so they can serve more customers and maintain six feet distancing. The zone plan was approved by Grand Rapids City Commissioners in May. Included in the social zones are seating for customers to enjoy takeout meals, as well as alcoholic drinks purchased from nearby restaurants. The first four zones set up on Friday are all downtown, Monroe North, Bridge Street, Center City and Hartside. Quote, the idea is simply to let restaurants serve more customers while allowing those who don't want to go indoors yet to feel safe, said Lou Canfield from the city of Grand Rapids. Continuing quote, it's a new concept for us and will be experimental in some ways. We are ready to work with interested businesses and business organizations to make it work for them, end quote. The city of Grand Rapids has been working with downtown Grand Rapids Inc and the Grand Rapids Chamber of Commerce to make the social zones a reality. DGRI, administrator of the first four zones, is working directly with downtown businesses to determine different setups that are ideal and will also follow public health guidelines. DGRI is also helping with garbage removal, table cleaning, and other place management services. Quote, we know that these last three months have been stressful for many of our local businesses so we're doing our best to help make their transition to getting back to their daily operations less cumbersome and more efficient, said Andy Guy, Chief Outcomes Officer for DGRI. More details about Grand Rapids Social Zones and how businesses can apply for them are available on the City of Grand Rapids website, www.grandrapidsmi.gov. Kent County and the Grand Rapids Chamber of Commerce have joined together to launch the Kent County Small Business Recovery Program, announced last week. The fund will deliver short-term financial support to select small businesses in the county in their COVID-19 recovery efforts. County businesses eligible for the fund are those that have not been able to access or have been declined local, state, or federal relief funds or need additional support to survive the pandemic's impact. Additionally, the fund will prioritize businesses that may be dealing with additional barriers, including, but not limited to, language, general business knowledge, and those from underserved communities. The source of the fund is the Federal CARES Act. Kent County Commissioners voted to dispense $25 million in CARES Act dollars they'd been allotted to the fund. Businesses with 0 to 25 employees may qualify for recovery relief ranging from $5,000 to $20,000. Size of business, operating costs, and additional scoring metrics are determining factors. More details about the Small Business Recovery Program are available on the Grand Rapids Chamber website, www.grandrapids.org. Loosened social restrictions in Michigan related to COVID-19 have brought back to life many in-person volunteer opportunities for local residents. Heart of West Michigan United Way updated their website with many of these opportunities announced last week. Opportunities include meal delivery at Boys and Girls Club of Grand Rapids Youth Commonwealth, crowd control at Fulton Street Farmers Market, food delivery and grant writing with Noor's Heaven of West Michigan Services, and order packing with the Other Way Ministries. For those still weary of returning to in-person social settings due to the pandemic, Ways to volunteer by phone, computer, and other remote means are also available. Remote and in-person volunteer needs can be found on the Volunteer Needs page on the Heart of West Michigan United Way's website, www.connect.hwmuw.org. As always, the Rapidian encourages local residents to share your own stories and perspectives on the Rapidian's platform. To learn more and how you can get started as a community reporter, you can visit www.therapidian.org slash write. This message is brought to you by The Rapidian, GRTV, and the Grand Rapids Community Media Center. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. We'll see you soon.